All right, so I, I did something. Yes, I bought another backpack, but I'm going to Tokyo for a week and let me explain. It's all because I bought the DB Journey Ramverk Pro 26 liter backpack. I'm actually kind of sick of doing unboxings, so I'm not gonna do one. I first started seeing this backpack a few years ago from some of my favorite creators, and it got me thinking. It got me thinking that I am at the point of my life with all of my gear that it's time for a new backpack that can accommodate all of that gear, and why not implement it for this upcoming trip? This is not a cheap bag by any means, so as you know me as a person, I put tons and tons of research into this. I even bought a couple bags prior to ending up with this one. So the time and the research was really put to the test with this backpack. Oh yeah, and I mentioned a little bit earlier, I am going to Tokyo for six days. And while I'm there, I'm gonna be daily vlogging. This will be a five episode series, which I'm calling The Average Joe Takes Tokyo. Five episodes, five days, and I'm excited for you guys to go along on this journey with me and kind of see what I see in somewhat of a little bit delayed real time. All right, let's get back to the bag. First things first, one of the most important things with a bag is it looks great. From the buckles in the front to the ribbed cage form factor on the sides that make up the structure of this bag. So something that's important to me when it comes to choosing a backpack that I can use as an everyday backpack, but also a camera backpack is something kind of funny. I don't want it to look like a camera backpack. And if you've owned a camera backpack and you know camera backpacks, you know what I mean. A lot of camera backpacks to fit the gear you want look like something that yells, I have a lot of money in here, take my backpack. And this backpack does not do that, which is something that for me was really, really important when choosing my next daily backpack. There are three zippers on this backpack and these three zippers play three different roles. Top, laptop, and main. This top compartment is great for a wallet, my phone, and even my Fuji X-T3 is a daily just photo camera to have with me. Quick access is a non-negotiable for me. So it's nice that I'm able to have quick access with this bag. The main compartment features a clamshell opening. And whenever you see a clamshell opening on a backpack, you know right away, modular. We have the ability to pack this thing up for a weekend trip, throw a jacket in there, but also have the ability to throw a camera cube in there and have it as your camera bag. But with the camera cube, also be able to throw little things in there so it works as both a camera backpack and an everyday backpack at the same time. That's something that is extremely important to me and this bag checks those boxes. So let's talk about the camera cube. And the camera cube's kind of interesting. I originally ordered the camera cube that was recommended to come in this bag and I wasn't the hugest fan. I wasn't a fan of how big it was and it didn't give me much room to play with within the bag. I also didn't really enjoy the dividers and how they did not really Velcro that well to the inside of it. So now I was on the search for the perfect camera cube and I returned two of them so I had nothing and some Sometimes the best camera cube is from seven years ago from Brevity in the trunk of your car. And that's ultimately where I stumbled across this camera cube that worked perfectly for all of my needs. The laptop sleeve is what it is. It's just a normal laptop sleeve. I do like that the laptop sleeve is not in the clamshell compartment and it lives by itself on in its own little zipper. But with that, you can fit the 16 inch MacBook Pro in there, which is something that's nice because I do own a M1 Max 16 inch MacBook Pro. So being able to fit the 16 in is something that is extremely important to me and extremely important when buying a backpack. I don't think any backpack meant for a creator or any backpack that gives you the option of a creator should be limited to a 14 inch MacBook. I think they should always give you the option of a 14 or 16. With every backpack, there's gonna be downsides. And one downside with this backpack is the fact that there's no water bottle holder. And for me, that's a pretty big downside. But where that water bottle holder would be, you have two very good straps that you can strap in a tripod. So you can take that out in the go with you, which is a nice alternative. I do wish they had both, but you know, you can't get everything you want with a backpack. But like I said, the moral of this story is, is I purchased a new backpack and the first time I'm gonna be using it is in Tokyo. So 
I talked about all the gear I have and all of the gear I've acquired over the years and how I'm gonna put it all to the test in Tokyo, so let's pack. Camera Cube FX320 mil, 16 to 35 drone, mic, mini tripod, chargers, cords, SSDs, iPad mini, SD cards, card reader, more batteries, MacBook, wallet, iPhone, AirPods, tripod. See what I mean? This backpack fits a ton. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode or any uploads in the future. And hit that like button to support me as a creator. But the DB Journey Ramverk Pro 26 liter backpack. Let's see how this thing handles Tokyo.